Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're diving into the latest update for the Keys Cafe module on Samsung's GoodLock app, version 1.8.00.13. So this new version comes with a refreshed look, smoother layout, and loads of new features to help you personalize your Samsung keyboard like never before. So whether you're into detailed typing stats, customizing your keyboard colors, or playing typing games, there's something in this update for everyone. For those of you who hasn't got this update, I have left a link in the description down below. You can go ahead and download it and go ahead and install it on your phone and then go ahead and follow along with this video. So the new Keys Cafe module brings together both new and existing feature, but with a much improved interface and better organization. Some settings have been moved around, so things may look a bit different, but everything is now easier to find and more powerful. So let's go through the key features one by one. So let's check out all the features available in the new Keys Cafe and see how you get the most out of it. So the first feature is your typing report. So this feature gives you a detailed breakdown of your typing habits. So including your words per minute, input words, input time, total input count, and total delete count, and even your average input length for each day. So you can track your progress over time and see how fast you type, even spot when your accuracy improves. So this is perfect for anyone who loves productivity stats or wants to type faster. So let me show you how to get this. So here you wanna go ahead and first open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, open up the Keys Cafe, go ahead and press play. And now this is the new layout for your Keys Cafe. So as you can see, today's input, I have 30 words per minute and 19 words I have inputted. I can go ahead and tap on this and this will give me a input word, input time, total input count, delete count, and the average input length. And here I can go ahead and change it for each days. So here you can go ahead and keep track of all your words which you have input in this. So this is perfect for who loves productivity stats or wants to type faster. The second feature is your typo analyzer. So the typo analyzer shows where you make the most typos. So which keys or letters you often mistype. So let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. Go ahead and open up the Keys Cafe. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find the typo analyze. So go ahead and tap on this. Now, now this will show you the highest number of typos. So as you can see, N is the most letter which I have typed wrong. So if I type on N, I'm actually expecting this underscore. If it's a K, that means O, U, I, and you have a count on the right hand side. If you see this keyboard here at the top, if you go ahead and tap on any of these keys, you'll see the amount of time you have tapped on them. So this is super useful if you want to refine your accuracy or you want to adjust your keyboard layout to match your typing habits. The third feature is your input word visualization. So this feature creates a word cloud based on your most frequently used words. So let me show you how to switch this on and how to use it. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Keys Cafe. Now here on the home page tab, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find the input word visualization. You wanna go ahead and switch this feature on. I've already turned it on for me. And now as you can see, today's word is in. So that is the most typed word for today. And then at the bottom here, you'll see my word cloud. So these are all the words which I've frequently used and it's basically created a canvas out of it. So it's a fun way to visualize your typing patterns and it looks pretty cool too. So there you go guys, that is how to see your input word visualization cloud. The fourth feature is where you can choose your keyboard themes. You can now select keyboard themes directly from Keys Cafe without switching apps. So here, let me show you how to do this. We'll first go ahead and open up the Keys Cafe. Now on this new layout, you wanna go ahead and tap on keyboard at the bottom. And here, these are all the recommended themes which are available for you to use. So you can go ahead and tap on any of them, apply it. So here you'll see your keyboard. So this can be changed from these recommended themes which are available on the Keys Cafe module. So go ahead and play around with it and apply the ones that you like. So this is easier to change how your Samsung keyboard looks and feels. So from a light and a minimal to a colorful and a vibrant keyboard theme. The fifth feature is where you can change the keyboard color palettes, effects and sound. So from your Keys Cafe module, you can customize your keyboard experience even more by adjusting color palettes key press effects, and even the typing sound. So to do this, go ahead and press the play button on your Keys Cafe. Here, go ahead and tap on keyboard. And as you can see, these all the bottom ones here are your recommended themes. However, you can go ahead and choose any of them. And say, for example, you wanna edit this, you can go ahead and tap on edit. And here you can go ahead and choose all the different colors. So you can choose your own colors, 
or you can choose the recommended colors. You can even play around with the effects. So you have the keyboard effect, you have the key effect, and you have the key motion effect. Next, you can go ahead and play around with the sound. So what sound it gives out when you tap on the keyboard. Tapping on it will give you a preview of that sound. So this way you can basically match your keyboard vibe. So if you want calm, energetic, or playful, it's all up to you. Once you're happy, press save, give it a name, and then that keyboard has been applied to your Samsung keyboard. The sixth feature is where you can change individual key colors. So you can take customization to the next level by changing the color of individual keys, like letters, numbers, or function keys. So let me show you how to do this. So here, if you don't like this kind of keyboard, go ahead and open up your Keys Cafe. Now go ahead and tap on keyboard. You can go ahead and choose your recommended theme, or you can go ahead and select an existing one. And now if you don't like these numbers and these colors of these letters or numbers here, you can go ahead and tap on the A button here. And here you can go ahead and choose your normal keys. So you can go ahead and make them all different colors. You can go ahead and choose a function. So if the functions are different colors, then you can go ahead and choose your numbers and have them as different colors. So now once you're happy, you can go ahead and tap on the border as well and change them, them around as well. Again, choose different letters like normal letters, the function as well, you can change them. Then you can go ahead and choose on letters and you can change those colors around as well. So you can basically customize all the aspects of this keyboard. So this gives you a total creative control over how your keyboard looks. Now, once you're happy, tap save, give it a name, go back to your keyboard. And as you can see, this gives you a new look on your keyboard. The seventh feature is where you can customize the swipe trail. So as you can see, currently my swipe trail is like a walking steps. So if you swipe typing, you can customize the swipe trail and the effect. If you wanna customize this, then let me show you how to do this. So we'll go ahead and open up the Keys Cafe. In the Keys Cafe, type on the keyboard module, then tap on a keyboard which you wanna edit. Now here at the top right, you wanna find this button here, which says hi. And here you can go ahead and customize the effect. So you can go ahead and choose all these different effects, star, heart, fire. You can choose the effects as well, what color. You can even choose the thickness speed and the transparency. So you can go ahead and customize anything you like here. So it's a small touch that makes your typing experience feel smoother and more personal. The eighth feature is where you can customize the keyboard layout. So Keys Cafe lets you completely adjust your keyboard layout. So repositions, keys, change spacing, and even add extra symbols. So let me show you how to do this. We'll go ahead and open up the Keys Cafe module. Now here we'll tap on keyboard. And now here at the bottom where it says design, make, and gesture, we'll go ahead and tap on make. And here we can go ahead and customize our keyboard. So currently set to English, however, you can go ahead and set all these different languages. And you can even add a symbol keyboard. If you wanna go ahead and edit one of these, so for example, the English one, you can go ahead and add different characters, different numbers, or different keys anywhere you like on your Samsung keyboard. So an example, we'll go ahead and tap WhatsApp and we'll go ahead and drag this anywhere you like here. Of course, we can add it anywhere you like. So you have a WhatsApp button here. And now once you like it, press save, give it a name. And now when we go ahead and open up our Samsung keyboard, you'll see that WhatsApp button here. So you can design the perfect layout that fits your typing style and your comfort. The ninth feature is where you have the two finger gesture settings. So this is a new feature in your Keys Cafe where you can allow two finger gestures on your Samsung keyboard. So you can learn how to enable and use a two finger gesture on your Samsung keyboard. So this is a great shortcut for quick controls like resizing or repositioning the keyboard. So let me show you how to turn it on and how to use it. Go to your Keys Cafe first, go ahead and tap on keyboard, then tap on gesture. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find the two finger gesture, which is right here, turn it on. And now you can go ahead and choose if you want up, down, left or right. So as an example, I've just used up. And let's just say, I want to go ahead and start or stop voice input. So if I go ahead and swipe like this on the keyboard, I will start or stop the voice input. So I'll press home now, I'll go to a keyboard, and now using my two finger, I'll go ahead and swipe up. This will start voice input. If I swipe up again, this will stop voice input. So again, voice input and that stopped the voice input. 
So like this, you can go ahead and set all these different actions. You can open emoji mode, open writing assist, open translation mode, moving cursor up and down, and you can go ahead and set this for swiping up, swiping down, swiping left, swiping right. The 10th feature is where you have three finger gesture settings. Three finger gesture sets you easily move or adjust the keyboard even faster. So you can go ahead and add all these different actions. So let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and start the Keys Cafe. Next, go ahead and tap on keyboard. And here you wanna go ahead and tap on gesture. Now from here, scroll down and switch on your three finger gesture. And here you can go ahead and choose up, down, left or right. So let's go ahead and choose the down and here I want to go ahead and change set it to change language so now I can go press home go to my keyboard now I can go ahead and use my three finger swipe down and this will basically change the language there you go so as you can see I once I swipe down with my three fingers it changes language on the keyboard so it's a small trick that can save you time once you get used to it. The 11th feature is where you can create your own stickers. So with the Keys Cafe, you can now create your own custom stickers directly inside the module. So let me show you how to do this. We'll press play here. Now on the Keys Cafe, tap on fun. And here we'll go ahead and tap on make your own stickers. So tap on this. So here we can go ahead and create our very own sticker. Tap on the plus sign. We'll go ahead and choose a picture from our gallery. So let's just say, for example, this one here. You can go ahead and choose these cropping modes. I've left it to one by one, press done. And now this has created me a sticker. You can go ahead and edit this, add tags to it. And like this, I can go ahead and create all my different stickers within the Keys Cafe module. So you can personalize your chat with unique stickers that reflect your style and your mood. And lastly, the 12th feature is where you have a typing skill game to practice your sentence and words. So Keys Cafe includes a fun mini game like sentence practice or the word ring. So this is designed to help you improve your typing speed and your accuracy while also having fun. So let me show you how to access this. So first go ahead and open up the Keys Cafe. Within your Keys Cafe, tap on fun. And now you'll see your game section. So you have two games that your sentence practice and your word ring. You can go ahead and tap on sentence practice, your name, go ahead and choose your language. We'll choose English, we'll start. Now you can go ahead and start typing here and it'll basically monitor you and tell you your mistakes. So as you can see, I'm getting 24% and the speed accuracy is about 25 words per minute. Like this, you have other game as well called the word ring. Basically you need to type in the word which is falling down. So you can compete with yourself, you can test your skills and see how much better you get over time. And that's a full overview of the Keys Cafe module update version 1.8. 0.0013 on the GoodLock app. It's definitely one of the Samsung's best customization update yet, combining fun, function, and full control over how your keyboard looks and performs. So which feature is your favorite? The typing report, the custom colors, or maybe the new typing games? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Samsung and GoodLock updates, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.